Sometimes in the NFL, a quarterback never gets his fair chance. Now, I ain't saying this quarterback ain't have a chance. But maybe it's not a fair chance, man. So we all know that Jameis Winston is one of the better quarterbacks at his age in the NFL. He can do a lot for you. He can lead the offense down the field consistently, throws the deep ball with accuracy, and, of course, again, is one of the better stars at the position at his age. Now, anyways, man, we have to look at the other side of the coin, though. What if Jameis Winston didn't get drafted by the Bucks? What if he had too many off the field issues that the Bucks like we're not gonna mess with him? Maybe the Bucks felt like no, we're gonna give Matt Glennon a fair chance. Now I'm not again. I'm not saying that Matt Glennon didn't get a chance. Well, maybe he didn't get a fair chance. Now, anyways, man, we're gonna see what happens. Will he be a star or will he be a dud? You know, a flop, the opposite of a stud. I hope not, man. I hope not. I'm going to do everything in my power to make Matt Glennon the next great quarterback, right? So here's the roster. In franchise mode, in Madden 15, he is 79 overall. With the base roster and this play now play, if you will, he is 76 overall. As you can see, we already picked up Jeremy, not Jeremy, what are you talking about, man? Jermichael Finley. I was putting Jermichael and Finley together and I got Jeremy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, man, we already signed Jermichael Finley. Now, I know you might think, that's a bad move. He's not going to stay healthy. All I need him is for one season, okay? Maybe two seasons, all right? Because I'm going to see what Matt Glennon can give me. If he can't give me anything in the first two seasons, I might just dip, okay? I ain't trying to be G GM of the Bucks. <clears throat> I mean the Yucks. I, I mean the Bucks forever. All right, so we do have a 99 overall player in Jared McCoy, one of the best defensive tackles. We have a solid outside linebacker in Levante David. I mean, this team is missing some secondary pieces. Y'all saw the secondary, okay? Cornerback is a uh, free safety is even, uh, uh. Yeah, even, uh, you know what I mean? 69 overall to Sean Ghost. What happened to you, bro? And then we got Major Wright. I used to love Major Wright when he was back in Florida. When he got into the league, though, playing for the Bears and the Bucks, he was just trash. So anyways, man, Allen, he is on the trading block. The Jets don't want him. I'm like, he's 80 overall. That is a big upgrade. I'm willing to give you guys banks. They're willing to accept Banks. So my man Allen is now our new starting free safety. So because we got rid of Allen, we have a hole to field in the cornerback position. We go out and we get Asante Samuel. Again, just for one year, 81 overall, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. He's not the long-term answer or solution, but I'm going to take it. We got my man Dahl. We need a right guard. Boom, you can come in, play right away. Plug and play. That's what I like to say. Anyways, we got another cornerback that we don't need for another safety that we do need. So we get rid of that cornerback for another safety and Parker from Kansas City, and we go out and we get champ belly so our secondary looking a little bit better now i know these guys are old but they are 81 overall we play like a cover two type deal with lovey smith so it's not going to be the biggest situation we needed safeties though so antonio allen at 80 overall and then my man park at 80 overall again those to me are bigger upgrades and keeping those two corners that were in the 70 overall range so as you can see man i'm doing my thing i'm working on matt glennon okay we are in the business of developing matt glennon all right so the season's over season is over mvp status for joe flico flacco yeah 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 and we missed the playoffs playoffs yeah we missed the playoffs and we went six and ten now for our first season that's okay that's okay. Really didn't make too many splashes in free agency. We just took what was there for us. You know what I mean? Made some trades, some, some trades, excuse me, here and there. Um, getting Champ Bailey again, not the long-term solution. Asante Samuel, him either. So you know what? It's A-OK. -okay. And I'm looking forward to this next season because as you just saw, Mac Lennon is now 86 overall. So the Baltimore Ravens, they win another Super Bowl. They, they won versus the Saints 38-7. Joe Flicko, Flacco, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got two Super Bowl rings. Oh, my gosh, what's the world coming to? So my man Ron Parker, I'm like, I got to keep you in town, bro. He is now, I believe, 85 overall, maybe 86 overall, 86 overall. He declined, but best believe we gave him the franchise tag. He ain't going nowhere. We are giving you the Kirk Cousins treatment, son. Okay, you ain't going nowhere, bro. You ain't going not, 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 not nowhere. So we give him the franchise franchise tag as you see Chan Bailey he's interested kind of he's 37 years old I'm like bro I could do you a solid you want 2.8 I can give you 2.8 then all of a sudden he's not interested that's fine I really wasn't interested in keeping you and again you want 3.3 I'll give you 3.3 I believe that's why I gave Asante Semi. he ends up accepting that so again not really too focused on the guys on the roster McCoy was not up so again if McCoy was up I'll be throwing the kitchen sink at him 
David was up throwing the kitchen sink at him. Evans, uh, Vincent Jackson, those guys were up throwing the kitchen sink at them. So here we go, man. We got Butler, Darius Butler in the first round of free agency. Now we got my man Big Nate, who's 97 overall. We got Big AJ Hawk, who is 83 overall. Uh, middle linebacker situation is not the best, all right? It's not the best. So we do the draft. I get an extra first round pick for the next upcoming draft because you trade back with Dallas. And I'm going to show you who we got. We only got one big splash. I'll show you guys that. And we also just signed Pierre Garçon. Receiving core looks pretty solid. Mike Evans, 89 overall. Vincent Jackson and Pierre Gosson, 89 overall. Finley, he's up to 81 overall. Jenkins, he's still, you know, 72, not the greatest. So we're going to find another tight end to pair with those two already. Not saying getting rid of anybody else. But again, I'm feeling pretty good where we are. You know what I mean? That's the guy that we drafted, D. Graves, in the first round. Already at 82 overall. Everybody else is just kind of, uh, you know what I mean? They're just kind of, uh. So it was just kind of uh, so no need to show you guys that but anyways man as you see my man ron parker 85 overall that's what i like to see byron maxwell byron maxwell we need you bro we need another corner so come on to the team it might not be the perfect fit with lovey smith scheme but you know what the high or the, or the 80 overalls that's what i'm looking for then we go ahead and we get Godfrey. he's a corner uh safety excuse me who's just gonna back up what we already have asante samuel for matt forte that is a great trade except for the trade will put us below the salary cap and i'm a gm that wants to make some coin but i probably should have got matt forte as we go three and 13. three and 13. i give matt glennon pierre Gosson. We already got Vincent Jackson, and we already got Mike Evans. I gave him Finley, and yes, Finley did stay healthy for the most part, okay? He didn't really get nicked up, and we just can't produce anything. 17 TDs, 14 interceptions, but that was the issue. Doug Martin, you are the reason. Five TDs, averaging 2.5 yards per carry. Oh, my God. I should have got Forte. I should have got Forte because Doug Martin, do 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 Doug, you did nothing for me so look at those numbers just pathetic after season number one we were actually able to have a pretty good season as far as his numbers he was top 10 in passing yards season number two it was just ugly just pathetic i mean i i i, I mean i don't know what to say don't know what to do man it was just it was bad it was bad all the way around all right, so as you check out some of the league leaguers, lead leaguer, lead league, no, league leaders for Drew Brees, Marshall Lynch, those are the top QB and running backs. As we check out our record, man, we had some horrible L's, some horrible L's. We started year two and two, started year off two and two, and then managed to, to lose like 11 games in a row. Just look at this. Look at this. And I thought year number two, it would be the measuring stick on whether we in real life, you know me, or in the video game, go out and get a quarterback or stick it out with Glennon. Glennon. I can't mess with you, bro. Look at this, man. Look at the passing yards. 48 passing yards. 48. 17 rushing yards. We gained 70, 65 yards. We gained 65 yards in an NFL game that was four quarters. We gained 65 yards, man. Yo. Yo, man. This is, it's not a good look. It's not, it's not a good look. And check out the player stats. I'm going to show you. Yeah, Drew Brees is Drew Brees. Four TDs, zero interception. My man, Matt Glennon. He completed 48 yards passing, zero TDs, zero interceptions. And he was, check out the numbers, 8 for 31. 8 for 31. I give you Pierre Garçon. I give you, we already had Vincent Jackson. We already had Mike Evans. And, and this is what you do to me? This is how you treat me? And that's not it, man. We had another horrible loss to the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, 43 to 13. 43 to 13. At least we had 199 yards passing, but that's still not great. Rushing again is just pathetic, just bad. Just Doug Martin. Why did I keep you? I probably should. I probably should have got Matt Forte. That was my biggest issue. You didn't see that Josh McCown. He played in this one, and he he he, he was better when it came to yardage. But four interceptions, one TD was not a good look at all. With our weapons. A 27 yarder as our long to me that's not that's not that impressive we're gonna check what our receivers did evans with six pierre garçon with five and vincent jackson with four receptions respectfully but none of them got over 70 yards and guess who is back in the super bowl after we some another season the baltimore ravens win another super bowl yes yes so yeah so like i said we send another season as you can see that now jim harbaugh is the head coach of the seattle seahawks what is wrong with Madden, like, why would that happen? I mean, I don't know. The Cowboys, they signed uh, Travis Frederick to a huge deal. Anyways, you can see we went 4-12, Matt Glennon. 
3,814 yards, which puts him in the top 14. Um, we have a new running back, as you can see, and he can't run, so maybe it's the O-line. A.J. Hawk, he led the league, not led the league, but led our team in tackles, and he was third in the NFL with 155 tackles. But all in all, Bears fans, I know you got Trubisky, but Matt Glennon might be the starter for a while. Have fun with that, because if this is anything that could be true in real life, y'all should have fun. I'm kidding, obviously, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Until next time, peace.